water dead. Dead, dead, dead. Fish on. Fish on. He's got a good one. Friends, my name is Antonio, and welcome to Back at the Ranch. So get a little special guest today. Got my dad with me. Hi, Dad. Say hi, uh, to everybody. Uh, <laughs> so uh, fishing's actually been pretty good recently, and uh, my dad's been catching some reds. So we've got the uh, ranch golf cart, technically the fishing golf cart, right now rigged up, making use of everything that we put on there. So you can see, I got my fishing pole, Dad's fishing pole, with all our gear. We got our net which is a freebie actually. We'll talk about that one later. <laughs> um, but we're good to go. So for anyone wondering about the uh, solar system on the golf cart, it's working great. But we are at 100%. And uh, I don't know, it was down to about 80 yesterday. We parked it, we've been in the RV. I've been working, I walk out and it's fully charged. That baby's working. So anyway, we're gonna head out to uh, the jetties fish with some cut mullet maybe some shrimp depending uh whether or not we run out of that mullet but our target tonight is either mangrove snapper or red drum i got it done last night didn't have the cameras with me but fishing's been good so taking the cameras for you see you on the rocks for my dad to show up. I have got some shrimp. It's a couple days old, not too bad. We've been throwing it in the freezer for the last few days. Throw one of these out. I do apologize for wind noise, by the way. It is kind of a breezy day. Don't have my uh, second mic. Decided to come lightweight with just one camera. Actually two if you count uh, that backup phone. Nice big chunk of shrimp, and of course I forgot my rag. Typical, that's what happens when you're in a hurry to catch fish. But uh, I just saw some nice fish flashing right here up close. I'm gonna give that a shot, not too far away. No traje mi garrita. Yo aquí traigo ochas. Por andar a la carrera. Con la cámara. There he goes. There he goes. Ooh, that's a nice snapper. Oh, flounder. Ahí está. Ah, turtle. Esto tuga. That's not good. It looks like a flatty, but it's not a flatty. It's a ridley, which is not good. Hopefully I didn't get him in a bad spot. If I did, Carlos. Look at these 
our protected species, unfortunately. Oh, oh fortunately. Oh, this is a fortunate. Fortunately. He got news he was. Looked like he was hooked by one of his arms, so we should be okay. Sometimes they get hooked right in the armpit. But that is not the uh, ideal situation there. Very rare. Get him. Careful with them. Bring them in. If they look okay, they're not bleeding bad. Release them. And if they are injured, there is a uh, turtle rescue here on the island to where they're injured to the point where they don't look like they can swim or they're going to bleed out. You can take them there and they'll take care of them. All right, let's try that again. This is actually not my rod. This is my wife's. My rod broke yesterday because we did get those redfish, a couple of mangrove. Had them on a stringer right over there under that rock. And we're swimming around nice. And we're ready to go, which is about 9 o'clock at night. Those fish were nowhere to be seen. They had actually gotten stuck in between two rocks. It took me about 15 minutes to get them loose, but I was using my pole, knowing that I might break it. And, well, I broke it. That gives me an excuse to go buy a new pole. So, always fun to buy new fishing gear. So I got stuck in a rock, lost my uh, hook, put it on the uh, new hook, and we're switching to the mullet. Those perch were ripping up that mullet real quick, so it's a little early in the day. Fishing usually gets good about one hour before sundown, and we're about two hours before sundown, so. A little time to wait. First catch. First catch. Bait. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Carnada. Carnada, sí, desde luego. Cuidado con mis ojos, esa es la sala que ya te decía. Dad brought the rope, just in case I have to jump in the water again, like I did yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Put mine down so I can change some settings on the camera. Let's get the fish. No, 
Bueno, este preso y... No, sí está bien. Está la de aquí, eh, y lo en este lado de aquí. Bueno, ya no voy a meter mi mano. ¿Y las pinzas? Sí, déjame no, las dos. Suéltale, Kira. Dale. No, sí, ya le metí la mano yo. Suéltale allí. No, suéltale aquí. ¿El, el gancho? ¿Este? Ah. Cierre ahí el gancho, eso nomás a cierre. Le vas a hacer daño al líder. No, cambio otra. Córtale mejor. Córtale mejor. ¿Estás seguro que lo quieres meter en la esa? ¿No es que trajiste? ¿Lo quieres en la esa o qué? Uh, that's my blood, not his. Good job, Dad. I got him. Let me take off my blood. <laughs> All right, so yesterday we had him on the stringer. The stringer got stuck. Dad doesn't want to use the stringer anymore. I don't blame him. So he's going in there. Let's go for another one. We're going to hear about 30 minutes, 40 minutes, about 40 minutes. One fish, not bad. The sun's going down, I'd say, another hour, and this fish should get even better than it's been. Nothing so far for me. I've casted a few more times. Actually, switched back over to shrimp. Nothing's hitting for me. Still have that whole shrimp there. But like I've said before, it's not always about the fishing. It's about the experience. You know, spending time with my dad, the view, watching the surfers, the sail, sail surfers. Not only that, check this out. He's going out to fill up. All right, let's keep fishing. <laughs> Give myself some water. While I do that, put that right there. My favorite fishing spot, which Mr. Cano, I think that's the same one you use if you're watching. This is where you got your red. Let's see if I can get one now. Anytime you're fishing, always hydrate. Dad prefers to drink beer, which I don't do when I'm fishing. So that net, what's the story with the net? I said I was going to tell you earlier. Um, someone left it out here. We're fishing at night. I walked down to see if there was anybody down that way. There was nobody. I walked down to see if there was anybody that way. Nope. Found it on a rock. Got myself a brand new fishing net. Pretty cool. Back to it. That sun is about to hit. Tuck under, nice sunset. Yeah. 
That's beautiful. As soon as that sun tucks under, I'd say about halfway or less, less than halfway. I think I'm going to get a fish. All right, sun's about tucked in. I did have a bite, but it wasn't a very big bite. It left me just a, a hook. Get myself a fresh piece of mullet. I think this is going to be the one. Here we go. Beats on. The magic cast. Close the bill. Let it hit bottom. Bottom right there. Keep your line tight. Take it, take it, take it. Fish on. Got it. Ah, ladyfish. Ladyfish. Yeah, big lady. <laughs> Let's see if we can land this crazy lady. That's huge. Might actually be a little carpet. See. Oh, she's swimming my way. Come on, come on. Don't jump. Don't jump. Get it back. Get it back. Come on, don't jump. Don't jump. Oh, 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 oh. Big ladyfish. You ever seen a ladyfish that big? I've caught a few of them. They're huge. Yeah. They get bigger than that out here too. I've never caught one that big. Man, hook one in about a foot of water and see what happens. They strip. They're so fast. Yeah. They just scream your lungs it's like a bonefish. I know. I, I hooked a couple of them last night, but I lost them, of course. You know how they jump. Sharp That's what yeah. Sharp there, I used to use smaller ones for for redfish, but man, look at that. Yeah. That's beauty. Too bad they're not good for eating. I know. They're not right? They're not great for eating. Oh. They, they have a lot of bones. Right? Yeah. They're great bait. Oh. All right, well, I got something. Woo, look at them go. All right, well, you guys have a good evening. Thanks for the information. That's the other thing about fishing on the jet, you, you make some friends, you tell some cool stories, sometimes you get a free beer out of it, and my finger started bleeding again. <laughs> Go back to Mr. Connell's hole. By the way, this spot here, I came fishing the other day, it was just one rod, a little bait caster, and uh, two lures. That was it, you know, the intent was not to fish hard, I just didn't really want to get stinky with bait and stuff. So I just, you know, came down walking with uh, my bait caster and lure, casting along the way. Right here at this spot was Mr. Connell, who is the father to the friend of uh, a couple of friends of my daughter's twins. And I was like, Mr. Connell, what are you doing here, man? I good to see you, long time no see. And he has a GoPro strapped to his chest, and he tells me, yeah, CJ started a YouTube channel. I'm recording for him. That's his son. So, CJ, Mr. Connell, it's cool to see you guys out here and your friend, your buddy. I forgot what his name was. I don't think I ever caught his name. But uh, if you guys want to see some cool fishing, uh, last week they slayed it, man. They, they got a bunch of reds. Go check out GPI a la pesca. And I'll link them here. Uh, not sure what side it's going to be on, but I'll link them there. I'll try to put them in the description as well. And uh, they've got some really cool fishing videos out here on the jetties and the bay. Uh, just dedicated to fishing. So if that's what you like to see is fishing, that's why you're here. Go check them out. Last thing I need is for this battery to die in the middle, catching a redfish for you guys. 
we've been through that one before and if you don't know what I'm talking about click on this link right here go check out my turkey video kind of spoiled it for you already but it's my first time vlogging and I had a live lesson there uh, about batteries and recording hunting so go check that one out new batteries in sun is way past sunset looks beautiful though check that out I did catch something so we're gonna keep fishing here until we run out of bait so it's gonna be kind of dark to keep recording if I hook something I'll try to record it for you did bring a, a headlamp so hopefully you get to see the catch but if the video's not good I probably won't show that but I will show you the clean we definitely gotta cook for you guys this time see you back at the RV if we don't get anything well got a fish on but not a redfish I'm talking to the camera, Dad. <laughs> Check that out. That is a spade fish right there. As soon as it stops jumping. There you go. The uh, saltwater aquarium fish right there, it's beautiful. Pretty cool. Unfortunately, that's not what we want. We've got about six pieces of shrimp left. Out of mullet. We're about to call it quits. El pescadito que pescaste ahora. Dos igual, casi ayer, más chiquitos. Dos mangrove. ¿Cómo te gustó la pesca? Bien. Si me quedara otro día, pues me gustaría pescar otro igual. A, a ver, ver, vamos a verlo. Vamos a verlo. Lo más que es, tiene dientes, oye. <risa> En un taco. A ver, vamos, en un taco. Vamos a medirlo, a ver. No lo medimos allá. No, ¿verdad? Aquí está el metro, mira. Aquí, eh, en la barra. Vamos a desdoblarlo porque está doblado. Ah, hay que medirlo aquí. Doblado por la IGES. Vamos a ver. Ahí las hay más o menos. Ponlo aquí. De ahí. De ahí. 24. 24 pulgadas. Very nice. Congratulations, Dad. Ojalá la semana que entra, vienen otra vez. Alright, so I haven't shown you guys this yet, but I'll turn these lights off. Remember I mentioned I had bar light? There we go. That is the uh, brightest golf cart on South Pie Dryden right now. Hay gente. Yeah. And when we get to the ranch, that's gonna be perfect for rabbit hunting. All right, we are back at the RV. Still bleeding. Not good. Oh, almost forgot. I have a little bit of a ritual. <laughs> Anytime I catch something, I say, hey honey, here's today's catch. And I got a GoPro, I mean a uh, ring up there, so <laughs> she's gonna laugh her butt off when she sees that video. Um, that ring camera's hooked up to our home alarm system. And uh, yeah, <laughs> see. Just getting the slime off of it. So I was saying, I usually like to uh, descale these and gut them, put them on the barbecue pit or in an oven hole. Oh. Oh. We're going to show you the video, but <laughs> mom's out. 
Look, ma. What do you think? Bigger than yesterday. So same. I like to descale them. Huh? I'm recording now. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> my mom's asking if I'm gonna record. I'm like, I've been recording the whole time. <laughs> so usually I descale them, take out the guts, do the whole thing on the barbecue pit or in an oven. But my dad wants me to learn how to fillet these things, so he got this thing. I don't know, never use one of these. We'll see. And there's your two fillets. So I'm gonna clean those up once I'm cleaned up. We will uh, show you the cleaning, uh, excuse me, the cooking part. So I think I'm gonna use a regular fillet knife to do this part, we'll see. So there you go. There's your two red fillets. Okay, so we did clean up the head as well. We're keeping that for a soup or something. And uh, gills, guts, everything else, skin, needs to go back into the ocean to feed the crabs and the catfish. So, I fill up this bucket. I'm gonna jump on that golf cart and head out to the boat ramp and dump it. Here so I can have some fish to eat.